lots of people got tortured and killed and suffered a great deal while that song was banned. And Valerie, I wonder if you'd be willing to retell some of that story about the dress yeah. in Al oh. Sex's book. Oh, I thought you were talking about my dress. Well, it could be your dress. My beautiful blue dress here this evening. You weren't talking about this one. Uh, I like which, by the way, comes from South Africa, you know. I got it on my last journey there. I'm, I'm just telling the girls because they all want to know where this dress comes from. Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? So on my last trip to South Africa, which was a year ago, I was getting ready to make my way home and I uh, had to go to the airport and I wanted to pick up a book. And I was told at the mall that I needed to go to the East Gate Shopping Mall. Does anybody, has anybody ever been there? Anybody been to South Africa before? Anybody ever been to the East Gate Mall? Anybody know what I'm talking about? Okay, so I went to the bookstore there and I got my book. And as I was leaving the mall, I walked by this teeny weeny shop. And there, hanging on the door was this dress. <laughs> And I stopped with my friends and I said, I love that dress. And I said, I just have to try it on. And if it fits me, clearly it's for me. Uh, now, I had been looking at dresses like this for you know, the whole six weeks that I was there. And nothing fit me because most of the women uh, are much bigger than I am. <laughs> So they have much more to fill in the fabric than I do. But this dress was hanging there, and I thought, maybe this dress is going to fit me. So I took it down, and I put it on, and voila. Here it is. Here it is. Right. Here it is. But this isn't the dress you were thinking of. It wasn't. No. You were thinking of another blue dress that's hanging in a building. Constitutional court. Constitutional court. Another blue dress. Yes. Albie Sachs, a justice of the Constitutional Court who lost an eye and an arm in the struggle in a car bomb and uh, recovered and became a Constitutional Court justice in South Africa and believes fervently in the contribution of art, creativity, and having fun as a companion to the travails of suffering and mm. restitution and truth and reconciliation. He likes to have fun. He likes to celebrate beauty and creativity. And so, as a result, my understanding is that there's another blue dress hanging there. Now, it's not obviously this blue dress. And the one that's hanging... Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. But the one hanging in this building is made of blue plastic bags. And when Stanley was telling me about that, I said, well, why? What's the story behind that dress? There must be a reason why somebody would make a dress out of blue plastic bags when there could be such fine fabric for something, but you know, when times are hard, and situations are desperate, and life is dire, and it seems as if there is nothing but garbage handed to you, those who have the will to live and to survive, and those who know that God is blessing us can make beauty out of the trash. Albie Sachs heard a story, maybe he did. I suppose the Truth and Reconciliation Commission heard the story because the job was for everybody to have a space where they could come and they could tell the truth about what had happened in those days. Did you do something that you should not have done? Yes, I did. Let me tell you the truth about what I did. And those who gathered could hear the stories of things that had happened to the people that they loved, their husbands, their wives, their mothers, their fathers, their children. And the men and women who did those things told the stories. And there were men who told the story of a woman 
she had been taken into custody and she wouldn't say a word about anybody else who had been assisting her, working with her. She wouldn't give up anybody's name. And so they took off all of her clothes and they threw her into the cell thinking, hmm, proud African woman would never stand to be naked for so long. She'll speak soon enough. But she didn't. Day after day after day after day, this woman sat in the cell in the skin that she was born in. She had nothing to cover her with until one day somebody came and threw in some food and with that food there was a blue garbage bag. And they left it there. And she saw opportunity, possibility, a way to preserve some dignity. And so that woman took that blue plastic bag and she didn't have a needle and thread. She didn't have any glue. She only had her fingers and so she tied some knots and she put that bag around herself and wore it as some underwear. Can you imagine? Just enough to cover herself so that when those men came to interrogate her, she had a bit of dignity preserved and she never opened her mouth. Yes, yes, yes. They finally decided it was time to get rid of her. So they took her out to kill her. And they did. And when they buried her, they buried her wearing only that plastic bag. Now they buried her at the same time there was another man who refused to give up the people who were also fighting alongside him. But this man did not go silently. No, this man, when he stood before the firing squad, raised up his hand and sang, Cosi Sikaleli Africa Bang! The song still sung. When they heard the stories, much later, after those murders had been committed, they went to find the graves of the people who had been buried with no ceremony. And when they found her, she still had that blue plastic around herself. And the story was told here, there, everywhere, here, there, everywhere, here, there, everywhere. And an artist hearing that story said, oh, I wish I could make a dress for her. I wish she had had a dress to be buried in. I wish that she could have a beautiful blue dress. And she went from place to place. And if you walk around, you will find these blue plastic bags everywhere. They blow in the wind like the leaves around here. And she picked them up. And she cut them up. And she sewed them into a beautiful blue dress. And that dress is the dress that hangs on the wall in the brand new constitutional building where there is an opportunity for justice, a place of freedom, a new space with new dreams, new beginnings in the new land, in the new South Africa, in the place where people have been dreaming for a long time that all the people would come together.
all around this planet third rock from the sun everyone is shouting something must be done from the cries of the children Alone with none who cares to the old and the homeless dying in despair. I say love and beauty. I see. Thank you. 
possibility Being is becoming That's no mystery Try and try To let go of the past Let your love and inner beauty last To the sick And the infant those with minds undone to the broken hearted those on the run to the educated Yeah.